I remember the experience as if it happened just yesterday. It was my very first job interview as a college senior. I was sitting in a cold, sterile conference room, answering questions from a somewhat robotic interviewer. I knew my resume backwards and forwards, and I had thoroughly researched the company. The interview was going quite well, when towards the end, he asked a very simple and straightforward question. He asked me, what makes you different? Thankfully, I had the perfect response prepared. <laughs> well, fast forward 35 years. I've spent the lion's share of my career as a brand consultant, helping some of the world's most esteemed brands like Coca-Cola, ExxonMobil, and Deloitte define what makes them different. And one thing I've learned along the way is that differentiation is as challenging in the world of corporate branding as it is in job hunting. In fact, according to your research on over 6,000 brands over a 10-year period, only 18% were deemed as differentiated. 18%. In my book, The Indispensable Brand, I propose 10 imperatives for making any brand, or for that matter, any person, differentiated. The very first of those is define your differentiator. Now, how can brands, or for that matter, people, achieve meaningful differentiation? Well, I'd like to let you in on a little secret that I've learned over the past three decades in the field of branding. The answers to four simple one-word questions can unlock what is truly unique about you and position you for success in life. Those four one-word questions are what, how, why, and who. Let's talk about each one of these in turn, starting with what. As in, what do you do? What benefit do you provide? What value do you add? Now, on the surface, this may seem like one of the most obvious ways to differentiate. And truthfully, it is very effective many times. But as we'll also soon discover, it does come with its own set of challenges. Now, in the auto industry, I would argue that BMW is a great example of a what brand. What is BMW? Quite simply, BMW is the ultimate driving machine. Dating back to 1973, the ultimate driving machine is one of the oldest and longest standing slogans, not just in the auto industry, but in all of advertising. It underscores the notion that BMW makes cars that thrill consumers with its functionality, attractiveness, and yes, above all, performance. The company has tried several times over the years to change its positioning, only to realize the error of its ways and revert back to its award-winning slogan, which is a very good thing because, after all, there is only one ultimate driving machine. And with all due respect to Nissan and its tribute to the right angle, it's probably not the cue. <laughs> Now, one caution about what is a differentiator. Sometimes what you do is what we would call a category ante or a table stake. It's a cost of entry, the antithesis of differentiation. Think about the airline industry. I would argue that the what of any responsible airline is to get passengers from point A to point B safely. If an airline can't do that, it's probably not in business very long. But is that truly differentiating? I mean, think about it. When is the last time you selected one major airline over another based solely or even primarily on its safety record? Chances are probably never. <laughs> now as for me, what's my what? As I said, I'm a brand consultant. What do I do? I solve complex brand challenges that help my clients grow profitably. 
But unfortunately, very much like the airline industry, I would argue that that is a bit of a table stake or an ante, not very differentiating. So I need to look to the other three questions for my differentiator. But how about you? What is your what? And is it differentiated? Maybe you're an excellent multitasker or an outstanding team player, or you can negotiate better than anybody else around. Those are just several examples of a meaningful what and could be the basis for your differentiator. Now, you don't have a differentiating what? Don't worry, we got three more questions for you. And the next one is how. How is in how you do what you do. Great examples of how in the branding world consist of things like a secret ingredient or a proprietary technology or a, spe a special process or methodology. Those are all interesting examples of how. Back to the auto industry for a moment. I would argue that Volvo is an outstanding example of a how brand. When I say the word Volvo, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, if you're like most people, chances are it's safety. In 1959, Volvo introduced the three-point seatbelt. Shortly after that, almost every manufacturer followed suit. In the year since 1959, it is estimated that over 1 million lives have been saved thanks to this safety invention by Volvo. To Volvo's credit, they made a very bold and aspirational claim recently. They said that in the next five years, they want to death proof their cars, meaning that nobody will die or be seriously injured when driving or riding in a Volvo. Now, clearly, other automakers have also made strides in safety, but only one of those has a brand that is synonymous with safety, and that is Volvo. And while Volvo's critics may argue that it's very difficult to get into a serious accident when all you do is drive to and from your local repair shop, <laughs> Its safety record is impressive nonetheless. Now, for me, what is my how? Well, again, I'm a brand consultant. What we do, what my company does, is we solve complex brand challenges, as I mentioned a moment ago. Unfortunately, as I said, that's not very differentiating. But what is differentiating is the way we do it, how we do it. Namely, we are a consulting firm that consists only of senior level partners. All of our partners have 25 plus years of highly relevant industry experience. We don't hand projects off to junior consultants. We don't even have junior consultants on staff. Importantly, this is something that our clients value quite a bit. And fortunately for us, very few other brand consulting firms can make this claim. Therefore, this how is a very powerful differentiator for me personally and for my firm. How about you? Do you have a powerful how differentiator? Perhaps you speak three languages, or you're highly artistic, or you have a, a shortcut to a methodology and you can do something two to three times faster than anybody else around. Those are all examples, along with numerous others, of ways that you can differentiate based on your how. Don't have a differentiated how? No worries, two more questions left. How about why? As in, why do you do what you do? Why is the reason behind what you do? It can be a special purpose, a mission, a cause, a belief. It's something that's higher order that drives you. In his now famous TED Talk back in 2009, Start With Why, Simon Sinek postulated that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And while I don't necessarily agree with that as a universal truth, I do think it actually is the case in many situations. And when it is, it makes for a very very powerful why and a very powerful differentiator. In the auto industry, 
Tesla is an excellent example of a Y brand. In the early 2000s, its founder, Elon Musk, made a very bold and audacious claim. He said that he wants to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. It quickly became the positioning of the Tesla brand. And I would argue that Tesla is one of the best examples of a purpose or a Y brand in the world. Importantly, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy is not just a motto or a slogan or an ad campaign or a CSR initiative. It is the very essence that defines the Tesla brand. Interestingly, last year, Tesla had a mere 1% share of the global auto market, less than 1%. Yet its market capitalization was an astonishing $670 billion. For perspective, that is more than the next eight largest automakers in the world combined. Clearly, Tesla's market capitalization is not a reflection of its 1% market share. Rather, it is a bet on the future and the belief that investors have in the mission of Tesla and its famous founder, Elon Musk. Now, for me personally, I absolutely love what I do. I'm very passionate about what I do and I wouldn't want to do anything else, but I can't say that it's a higher order mission or cause or belief that drives me to do what I do. So I'm gonna stick with my how as my differentiator. But what about you? Do you have a powerful why differentiator? Such as a mission, a purpose, a cause, or a belief? That drives you, that is the reason why you do what you do? If you do, you may wanna consider it as the basis for your differentiation. Last question is who? Quite simply, who is about who you are as a person. It's those unique characteristics and individual personality traits that define you as a human being. Ask any proud Subaru owner, and he will tell you that Subaru is far more than an automobile. It is a way of life. What kind of life? Outdoor adventure. Do you like to ski in the winter? If so, the Subaru Outback is for you. Or maybe you like to go camping and hiking in the summer. Just throw your gear in the back of a Forester and off you go. No matter what kind of outdoor adventure you crave, Subaru has a model for you. In fact, six of Subaru's eight lines are designed with the outdoor adventurer in mind. Now, to be clear, not every single person who drives a Subaru is an outdoor adventurer. Yet, the brand is inextricably linked with the outdoor adventurers who drive them. Do you need some proof and evidence? When was the last time you saw a TV commercial that featured an elderly lady driving her Subaru Outback to a Wednesday night canasta party? <laughs> Chances are, never. So for me, my who, well, I consider myself to be very strategic, very analytical, critical thinker. But once again, that's kind of a table stake for a consultant, isn't it? So it's not very differentiating and I'll stay with my how is my differentiator. But how about you? Is who a differentiator for you? Do you have some unique or interesting personality characteristics that define and distinguish you as a person? Maybe you're a contrarian or a survivor, or you're highly irreverent. Those are just a few examples of personality traits that can really distinguish you from everyone else and serve as the basis for your differentiator. All it takes is a healthy dose of introspection to determine what those characteristics are. So now I'd like to ask you to figure out what your differentiator is. Now, many of you here tonight are gonna to be soon entering a new phase of life. You are going to be transitioning from academia into the job world.
put yourself back in the situation that I mentioned in my opening. You're interviewing for a job that you really want very much with a company that you've always eyed. You can easily list two to three reasons why you want to work for that company more than any other company in the world. But can you equally as easily articulate what makes you different and why that company should hire you over all of the other candidates that they are currently interviewing for that position? If you can't, you might want to ask yourself what, how, why, and who. Because the bottom line is the, your ability to define your differentiator will go a long way towards determining your success in many facets of life. And if you do it well, you just might be able to avoid the proverbial sea of sameness that characterizes much of society today. And to identify a personal brand that is among that coveted 18% that is deemed truly differentiated. Thank you.